So let's talk about the importance of a lifeboat in your life. From Have a you... professional perspective? Both, or... both, both, both. Professional, personal, both. This is a this is a combination too. This this conversation has not just been about professional and personal. Yeah, yeah. Here, people have got to know you on both sides. They've got to know you as the coconut oil based plated girl sitting <laughs> in the front front bench and going and getting yeah. rank one to being, you know, rock star. Yeah. I was always a bank venture. Never had coconut oil in my hair, depends, and yet got rank depends. one. It's 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 not necessarily pre prejudice. It's more about perception. Okay. A geek's perception is X, Y, Z. Yeah. You have broken the perception. So the idea of this podcast was to showcase that you could be both, right? You yeah. could break. So talk about everything. Huh. It's a tough one because um, I guess as you said, over the years, there have been different instances and there have been different lifeboats, I would say. But do you believe in the concept of lifeboat? Um, do you think that that is a very relevant aspect in every individual's life? Or is it understated and undermined? No, it is not. Uh, no, I think it is very individual again, right? I mean, how much importance do you give and how, how significant it is for you? A lifeboat may be important for you, but not for somebody else, right? So it's very different. I mean, I think generalizing it to say how uh, it's needed or not needed is, is no, making it the very... the question is not about how it's needed. The question is, do you believe in the concept? Or do you believe that, again, that concept is something which is so perspective oriented or so relative that someone may not even believe in the concept? Yeah. That's... Till now, I've not heard anyone who does not believe in the concept. So you might be, again be the aberration here. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, as I said, so I'm talking about the concept. It's not necessary that you always believe that there is a lifeboat to save you. Right? I or agree. you fall back on or whatever you you kind of the call question it, is right? whether you so, need one the, whether you the essence of the concept to say no, that you need again one. having a lifeboat is luck no 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 again you're you're, you're taking a different so what i'm saying is whether you need one is also a decision you make depending on what kind of individual you are right mm -hmm. there are individuals who might not need one mm -hmm. there are individuals who might need many lifeboats Fair. so that changes Fair. and therefore the definition of whether lifeboat is important to you or not important to you or whether it is there in your life or not there in your life or whether you define it as a lifeboat is also very different. Having said that. I have a different perspective. I'll come to it. But I'll tell you where I've qualified. Not having a lifeboat means that you're actually relying on yourself and you yourself are your lifeboat. So lifeboat again has a very different construct. It's not necessarily that it's third party oriented. That, true. And therefore the definition of lifeboat I is... Agree. To each very relative, very relative. Very that relative, I completely right. Agree. So that's what I meant. I like agree on that. The importance you assign to a lifeboat and who that lifeboat yeah. is is completely on you. Having said that, of course, there are always people you fall back on, and despite or irrespective of the situation, mm. whether it's professional or personal, there is your inner circle, mm. and without that, sustaining for a long period of time becomes tough. Mm. Uh, you might be that you are fine by yourself and that's also okay. True. And to a large extent, sometimes I'm that. Mm -hmm. Again, something I resonate very well with. I don't think I've gotten into those... Valleys. <laughs> Valleys, yeah. The, uh, the, where the, I the, the, the needed somebody to pull me out as term, a lifesaver. Polite, polite term is valleys. Yeah, but I, I don't think I've gone through that. So it's difficult for me to resonate. But have I had my dark days? Yes. Have I had bad days? Yes. True. And have I had my good days? Yes. And do I share that with an inner circle? Yes. Yeah. And that remains the same, whether it's good or bad, um, that doesn't change. Mm. So whether you call it lifeboat or whatever else, I mean, it's difficult to say, but there are a few people who would be there in that circle. And that will include, of course, some people from family, of course. some people from your friends, some people from our professional world and depending on what you're dealing with you kind of give importance it's customized to that. it's customized how much of uh, yeah relevance and how much of involvement you want from the other person true it's it's need based yeah it's we're need -based. selfish it's always we are always we are selfish and perhaps uh, at times i think the most selfless thing that one can do is to be selfish yeah a lot yeah. of people to maintain under, your yeah, own, sanity, own sanity a lot of people underestimate yes. the power of being selfish yeah and I, I believe uh, one of the most selfless things you can do to yourself is be selfish. Absolutely true. And I feel a lot of times people do take it as an excuse that I didn't have anybody to save me. In whatever form and format, I'm just putting it bluntly. But 
that I got drowned because there was nobody to save me and it's easy to blame. I agree. In fact, um, the reason I kept saying this, right, and you're the only exception to this entire uh, format of the podcast that I've created where you're in my office as against uh, me going to your place is also because one of the things that always comes with you is a diverse view. And uh, this is what I really wanted to bring out. I wanted the audience to also know the ability of the diverse view that comes in. Because while the concept and the broad base of this show is about lifeboat and that everyone needs a lifeboat, the differentiator that comes in is that you yourself can be your lifeboat. It's not necessary that it has to have a third party. Yeah. It's situational and circumstance oriented. So a lot of times for me, I am my own lifeboat. Yeah. And I have my own goddamn ring which I carry around. No, and a lot of time it comes across uh, quite negatively to people. People tend to think that uh, you're just selfish. extremely selfish and arrogant and, and too self-obsessed. But that's not the case. I think people who are close to me will know that's absolutely not the case and how much there is uh, that I can think for others. But um, yeah, that's how it personality, that's how kind personality of, is. And yeah. But that's having why, said that, are there people? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I need my people of around course. me and, and that's we all We all need there. our people. Yeah. And we are glad that you and I are also one of each other's people whenever the time yeah. comes in. Yeah. That's very important. Mm -hmm.